we're a little bit over time, but Cornelia, if you can join, we'd love to, uh, maybe a little bit of a high level. Um, if you remember one thing from today, uh, it's this. We appreciate it very much. Super. Thank you, Tomo. And I assume you can hear me? Yes. Excellent. Um, so the first thing that I'll say is I want to thank all of you for joining, um, especially those of you who have been here from the very beginning. Thank you for your tenacity. Um, and uh, I also want to take just a moment to thank um, Tamo and her entire team for putting on a virtual event today that um, it certainly uh, it blew my mind. Um, everything from the DJs and Damani um, and our, the, the great emceeing, um, it felt so much more lively than just sitting and watching YouTube video after YouTube video. So thank you for that. I'd also like to extend a huge thank you to all of the people who came on and spoke. Um, judging from the ch chatter that was going on in the Slack channel, there was quite a bit of really good information that was shared that I dare say is useful for a great many of you. And, uh, and of course, all of this is, is recorded. And as uh, Tomo said, if you go ahead and register, you'll make sure you get the first access to those and you'll be able to pass those things on to your colleagues. So without further ado, let me talk about the one thing. And so I do not have a whole ton of slides, but I just have um, one that maybe will be a little bit fun. Um, and I'll present. So back to the subject of if there is one thing that you remember about GitOps, and of course I put one in quotes, which gives you a little bit of a, of a teaser of what's gonna come. So first of all, it's a paradigm. Um, and we heard that across literally every single one of the, the conversations and the talks today. Um, it is not a specific tool. Um, it is just like um, DevOps is not a tool, uh, it's a paradigm, and it is a set of practices, even organizational structures. Um, we touched upon a, a little bit of that. Um, now, that, uh, like I said, that is not tied to any specific singular technology. However, tools are essential for realizing it. We can't take our old tools. Um, so, for example, the reconciliation loop. Uh, that Kubernetes really made ubiquitous for us. And Ed Lee earlier was pointing out the, the quote from Joe Bita that while um, container orchestration might have been goal one, it has turned out to only be use case one for Kubernetes. And without things like the reconciliation loop, we wouldn't have this new paradigm of declarative configuration and eventual consistency in IT systems the way that we have it today. So it's essential that you choose tools um, for realizing that, par that paradigm. Um, and uh, we also heard from a great number of folks that uh, there is an education process in, in um, bringing that paradigm to your organizations. The other thing is that and, so you can see that the one thing that I'm asking you to remember is one very long run on sentence. Um, it applies to everything. Um, we're not just GitOpsing applications that are getting deployed into Kubernetes, but we're GitOpsing everything from policies, security policies. We heard Maya talk about that at the end as well. And finally, all of this is not just because it's cool technology for us to play with, but the goal is in delivering real business value. And this is a pretty tantamount um, evolution and really almost a revolution with the way that we're doing things in applying um, things to operations. By the way, I do want to set aside that the continuous, um, you'll notice that Maya at the end of the day, we've been talking about continuous integration, continuous delivery. We introduced the concept of continuous operations and then Maya brought in continuous security. So this is really about a new um, cloud native operational practice for your IT systems. Um, and so that's about the, applying the real value. So with that, I just want to give a final thank you to everyone for joining. Um, again, also thank you to James for closing us out so well at the end of the day today. And please do stick around for the unconference, which is starting right now.